Hello guys, this is my segment. I hope you guys are doing well with your homework. And but this time you are supposed to be returning, you know, uh, the first packet. Okay, uh, we're gonna keep, you know, reading this. We almost, you know, at the end of the lesson, the cure factor, which is lesson 1.19. So what are we going to do? We're going to analyze a model essay. Okay, that is the name. We're going to analyze the model essay. So what is the objective? We learn quite, you know, a lot about perception and how minds influences what we see. Now, we'll examine what one student writer has to say about our minds affect our perception. As we read this model informative essay, okay, we'll identify and evaluate its parts. Based on this uh, prompt, the topic is Casey Anderson, which is uh, uh, this student, Casey Anderson, is going to analyze her essay. So, examining how Casey, a student writer, Answer this prompt will help us to understand the kind of thinking and writing we will do when we write our own informative, you know, essay. Okay? As I read, listen for two ideas that Casey Anderson discusses in her essay. Pay attention to the details she uses to develop her idea about how the human mind affects perception okay so what it says writing prompt it said what we see depends and how our minds work write an essay with at least two examples from text and how our minds affect perception so it is says here sin isn't everything by Casey Anderson we know there are eyes, let us see. But sometimes what we see with our eyes is different from what our minds think we see. What we think we see is known as visual perception. It is how we make sense of what our eyes are seeing. Our minds can influence our perception in many ways. One way the mind affects visual perception is when eyewitnesses to crimes testify in trials. In The Magic of the Mind, Dr. Elizabeth Loftus describes how eyewitnesses sometimes look at a set of photos and try to identify who they saw. Sometimes they can't quite remember and that we often identify the person who best matches the recollection of the criminal. And after the choices is wrong, even though the witnesses saw the crime, the mind created an incorrect visual perception, perception of the criminal. People's mind also affect their perception of what cute looks like. And the cute factor Natalie Angers described people since a panda cop at the zoo. Everyone is exclaiming how cute the cop is. People are seeing features that include a pair of bright eyes, a big round face, a pair of big round ears, and fluffy limbs. That is in page 53. Andrew says that something in our minds decides the panda cop face is cute. When we perceive something as cute, we want to take care of it. Overall, what we see and what we think we see are not always the same. Furthermore, our memories don't always match reality. Understanding these processes can help us know when to trust our eyes and when to examine something more closely. Okay? Throughout this workshop, we read about ways in which our minds influence what we see. We learn that we can't always trust our eyes. That is true. That what we think we see isn't necessarily what is real. Now, we get the chance to show all the knowledge we gain by writing about two examples of how our minds affect perception, guys. So, we're going to go to the next page. And we said, 
Mark, it says here, let's uh, thank you. Mark and evaluate text elements. Mark the following elements of an informative essay. Use the frames to discuss them with your partner. In this case, me. The thesis statement identify the topic of the essay, the previews, the previews that the writer, you know, will discuss. Okay? That is a thesis statement. It's going to say, oh, we're going to talk about the Q factor. We're going to talk about the animals, you know, or we're going to talk about the minds. And it says, put a T next to the thesis statement. Why is this statement effective? Okay? This thesis statement is effective because identifies, describes, or introduces. Okay, so what is this? It is that introduces, guys. Okay, introduces the topic of the essay. Introduces the topic. of the essay that our mind has influence over our perceptions that our minds has influence over our perceptions okay This is the thesis statement. The idea. Each supporting paragraph includes a topic sentence that state the paragraph's central idea. These ideas elaborate on the thesis statement. Put an I next to the central idea of each body paragraph. How do these ideas give more information about the thesis? The central idea gives more information about how, who, or why. And the answer, it is how. Okay? It is how the mind shapes people. How the mind shapes People's understanding. People's understanding. What they see. In criminal trials. And what, okay, they think cute looks like, okay, I hope you guys can read, I really did, okay. Let's go to the next one. Details. The detailed sentences develop the central ideas with facts, details, and quotations. Okay? Put a D next to the four important detailed sentences. Why are these detailed sentences important? The T sentences are important because it explained, I'm sorry, that expand, develop, or provide. And the answer is provide, guys, okay? Provide a specific examples. Provide specific examples of how the mind influences perception That supports 
the central idea. Okay, and at the end is the ending, okay? Remember, an essay ends with a conclusion that restates the thesis and central ideas of the essay. It ends with an interesting final thought. Remember, guys, you know, that it the ends with a, um, with a thesis. So we're going to write it down, you know, this the thesis, but with a different words, okay? So put an E next to the uh, S's conclusion. So what is a conclusion effective, okay? This conclusion is affected, okay, because it restates the thesis, because it restates the thesis, and it leaves the reader The reader I'm gonna move it a little bit more okay guys the lips the reader with a thought that understanding How our brain processes oh, I'm sorry guys our brain processes images can it help us know know when to trust our eyes when to trust our eyes okay so i help you with this why because i want you guys to put a t i want you guys to put a t an i a d or an e the thesis statement Give me an I for an idea, D for details, and E for ending on the page they I just read for you guys. Okay, so you're going to go like this. It's going to be the T. This is going to be the D. And we have the thesis statement, an idea, the D, and the E's. Okay, so I need you guys. I'm going to give you a clue. You guys are going to have... Uh, one T, you guys are going to have a uh, one T, you guys are going to have two I's, sorry, you can have one T, two I's, okay, one E. and four d's okay so i hope you guys are out of trouble and you guys are safe so see you the next time bye guys